Africa and welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I really do appreciate it. If, you, if you're hearing the smooth tones, oh, Captain Will, just hit that subscribe button so you can hear more of it. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. We got a good one today, y'all. I said we got a good one today, y'all. We are talking if. South Carolina's women, South Carolina women's basketball. Are we the new UConn? Is South Carolina women's basketball the new UConn? We all know what's been going down. We all know what's been going down with South Carolina women's basketball, led by Coach Don Staley, the GOAT. We already know. We already know. And 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 the, the easiest the easiest answer to this question as a Gamecock fan will be yes. That's the easiest answer. And the easiest answer for a UConn fan would be hell no. Hell no. That, that, no, South Carolina ain't caught no UConn. But let's, lie, let's dive a little deep. Let's dive a little deep into this situation. Let's dive a little deep. Because South Carolina 29-0, going to the SEC Women's Ch uh, Tournament that's going on in Greenville, South Carolina. South Carolina has not lost a game. Has not lost a game since the SEC Women's Championship last year. 2022, we ain't lost a game. Right now we're 29 and 0 going forward. Um, un just completed an undefeated regular season. Just the 10th team to to accomplish that feat. We're on to bigger and better things. We got we got the women. We got the uh, SEC championship going down. Then we got the the the, uh, the big dance is going down. We got so many things going down. But UConn, UConn has been a standard bearer for uh, 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 women's basketball. Forever. For so long. For so long. If you wanted to uh, match yourself in women's basketball, you have to look at UConn. You have to beat UConn. You have to compete with UConn. That was one time. Oh, we, we, we competed against UConn. Oh, so we, we getting better. Oh, we beat UConn. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. Okay. So, let's, let's go through this, right? All right, so... South Carolina's beat UConn four of the last five times, four times straight. Okay, we, we can start with that. That's, that's the first thing we can start with. Four out of the last five games and four times straight. That's that's a trend. Uh, if you want to call it a trend, that's a trend. Um, the last four years, we can say that South Carolina went 122, 100, 122 and 8. Over the last four years, UConn went 113 and 16. All right, so that's a trend. That's a trend. This year, we are favored to win the national championship. We're undefeated. We've been ranked number one the whole year. Um, last year, we won the tournament. Won the tournament over da -da -da -da, UConn. Okay. So we're favored this year. We won last year. We lost the tournament final in 2020, 2021. Lost the tournament final. We all know Leah Boston missed that terrible shot. Oh, I felt the anguish and the pain when she missed that shot. Because we could have easily went to the finals and possibly won a championship. That could have been potentially a three in a row if we win this year, right? Okay. COVID year. COVID year. Up until this year, I thought our COVID year team was the best team in, in, in USC history. Went 32 and 1. 32 and 1. Was the eyes on favorite to win the championship. So just looking over this spectrum over the last four years, and I talk about this spectrum over the last four years because it's it was 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 uh what is uh in our minds right now is the freshies, Aaliyah Boston, Bria Bill. We already know who it, is, who it is, Zai Cook, so forth, a freshie. So I just look at the last four years, right? Okay. So potentially, COVID year would have been a national championship. Uh, potentially, we, we lost in the semifinal against Stanford. Last second shot. We would have went to the finals, and who knows what would happen. Then we won the tournament, and... And we're into this year where we are the eyes on favorite to win the tournament. Just saying like it is. UConn, last four years. 
Okay. Uh, this year they're twenty six and five, lost to the Gamecocks. Mm -hmm. uh, last year finished thirty and six, lost to the Gamecocks in the um, finals. The year before that twenty eight and two, lost in the semifinals. And then the year before that was COVID year, and it was twenty nine and three. So over the last four years one hundred thirteen sixteen. So uh, the the easy fix for that the easy easy answer is yes. You uh, South Carolina over the last four years. Has been better than UConn. UConn has not touched South Carolina over the last four years. Okay, but in order, in order for the Gamecocks to reach that level that UConn has achieved, that elite, 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 iconic status, South Carolina has to win multiple, multiple championships, multiple, multiple championships, in order to say that we have are the next UConn. Because there was a there was a stretch, there was a stretch where UConn won what four straight championships, four straight championships, 2012 to 2013, 2013 to 2014, 2014 to 2015, 2015 to 2016, 2016 to 2017. Who's the champion? South Carolina, South Carolina, 2016 to 2017. Okay, they won again. Yeah, you know, you know what, what went down. You know, you know what went down. You know where you were when South Carolina won that first national championship. But with UConn winning four straight, that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. We win this year two straight. Two straight. That would be three out of the last five years. And I'm counting that COVID year. I'm counting that as a national championship. You can say what you want, say what you will, but there was no way anybody was going to beat South Carolina in no big dance that year. No way. No way. No way. No way. Okay? So I'm saying three out of the last five. So right now I'm saying two out of the last four. I'm saying two out of the last four, the game cost one. The 2019 and 2020 season and the 21 and 2022 season. I'm saying two out of the last four. Okay, we win this year. That's three at last five championships. That is reaching the level that UConn did. Not saying that is is we on that level of UConn. I'm not saying that. Not saying that at all. So if whoever want to say something that we reached the level of UConn, not saying that at all. But we had this conversation next year. If we had this conversation next year, after we win the championship this year, but we had the same conversation March the first. At the SEC tournament, going into the national championship, uh, the big dance. And South Carolina is number one. Number one. And it's the eyes on favor. Again, we're having this conversation March the 1st, 2024. I will say that South Carolina has reached the status of UConn. I will say that. Because they had the hardware to prove it. Have the hard word, hard word to prove it. UConn, the greatness of UConn was they've been so great over year after year after year after year. Now, with that being said, the depth at women's basketball is at an all-time high. There was a time where all the top players went to UConn, went to Tennessee. That's not happening anymore. That's not happening anymore. Top players going. Of course, the South Carolina. They want to play for Coach Don Staley, the best who ever done it. But yeah, they're going to UConn. But they're also going to Stanford. They're going to Notre Dame. They're going to LSU. They're going to Maryland. So, going forward, the question might not be, has South Carolina caught UConn? The question might be, can UConn catch UConn? Because I think the glory, the glory days of, of UConn are gone. Those glory years, those glory days are gone. There are some quality, quality, quality teams in college basketball. Now, put take out South Carolina. Take out South Carolina. We ain't got to even talk about South Carolina because we know we're the best. But you can talk about Indiana. 
You could talk about Stanford. You could talk about so many teams right now that UConn will have to get to and get through to make it into a situation to play the game cops. So, South Carolina hasn't reached the level of UConn yet. Yet, and that's the key word. But we are trending so fast upward. We got three of the top players in the country coming to USC in this next recruiting class. I am sure Don Staley will hit the transfer portal and bring in a player or two. Raven Johnson will be unleashed on college basketball next year. And you tell me one player who's going to stop or two players who's going to stop Camila Cardoza next year. Dynasty is upon us for South Carolina, and we are all witnesses. This concludes another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like. If you're digging what you're seeing, if you're digging what you're hearing, hit that subscribe button so you can hear Captain Will. You are now rocking with the best, and since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. Will. Go, Gamecocks.